Um, my noble friend will also be aware the introduction of the global human rights sanction regime in 2019 allows us to do exactly that, that those people who commit egregious abuses of human rights, we can target them specifically rather than targeting the citizens or indeed a country. My Lords, would the noble Lord, the Minister, agree that the existing sanctions in Zimbabwe have not curbed the repressive regime of President Manangagwe and left a vacuum for Chinese and Russians that have occupied <coughs> in mining strategic minerals. Is it not the time now to convene an all-party parliamentary conference in Zimbabwe to help pave the way for in the incumbent government to be more inclusive and address the reduction of poverty for millions of long-suffering Zimbabweans? <laughs> My Lord, um, I assure the Noble Lord, part of our approach and sanctions is one element of that in terms of the levers we have working with key partners on ensuring the current government does adopt that inclusive approach. Uh, the Noble Lord is, of course, correct. When you look at Africa, particularly you look at Zimbabwe in terms of what it provides, the critical minerals, uh, resources it has, is, of course, a major opportunity. Lithium, I think, is the biggest uh, provider of lithium along with the DRC. So there are opportunities ahead, but it needs a government which is obviously both inclusive and protects the rights, not just of those coming in, but the rights of its own, own citizens. My, my Lords, the Minister will be aware that uh, ZANU-PF has used the cover of the specific Zimbabwe <laughs> sanctions regime uh, as a propaganda tool to excuse their economic mismanagement and corruption, uh, which has caused the economic crisis in Zimbabwe. Uh, will the government consider ending their specific um, geographic sanctions regime and, and uh, focusing on the global human rights and the corruption um, sanctions regimes? Uh, and will the UK make efforts to step up our communications, particularly in the SADC re region, to make clear the message that the Minister just gave, which is that we want to see prosperity for the people of Zimbabwe. Our sanctions are not aimed at them, they are aimed at the corrupt and the human rights abusers in the ZANU PF regime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May I firstly pay tribute to the Noble Lord for his work on the APPG, and I agree with him that Zimbabwe has great opportunities in terms of the future when you look at the people-to-people -people links with the United Kingdom. Again, it's demonstrable that these sanctions that we apply and other partners apply are not aimed at either the people or the economy. And when you look at our, our trade, for example, it was £539 million in 2022 23 So that's a direct uh, challenge to what's sometimes said, that this has impacted the economy. What's needed is, is openness, transparency, accountability. And yes, I agree with the Noble Lord. We will continue to look how our sanctions regimes, and that's why I alluded to